Yo, Jay. What up, bro? What type of books do oranges read? What kind do they read? Pulp fiction. God damn it. You saw it. You saw it coming, did you? I, th- <laughs> I thought it was going to be something something appealing. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> oh, man. That was good. Yeah. Good That's what I go. That's where I go. Oh, man. <laughs> this is what I do. Oh, good job. Good job, guys. <laughs> Well done. Much better than the last one. I, I, I'm trying. I'm trying. Today let was me, a good day. Let me, tell you, let me ask you a question. If you throw the orange in the water while it's reading, does it get wet? Ah, uh, really? No. Okay. Ah. No, we're not going to <laughs> Folks, uh, welcome back to another episode of Pops On, episode 34. Oof. Yeah, Oof. <laughs> we your age now. This is where the back pain's kicking. <laughs> for what? For no reason, your knee hurts. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> happening true, now, yo. It's true life, yeah. I don't want to tell my wife, she equates everything to diabetes. You, but um, <laughs> you, you, start blaming the, the, you start blaming the way you slept on shit? Yeah. Yo, my shoulder hurts. I must have slept on it yeah, wrong. Slept what? Wrong. Yeah, man. Anyway, <laughs> this is your boy Raul across the room. I got what's up, Jay Alvarez, and we got Marcel on the ones and twos, making sure we sound tip top. Man, damn, you right about that little knee shit, yo. Mm-hmm. I've been having some pains for a minute. Yeah, and you sit, and you just tell yourself you slept on them wrong, bro. I How you sleep on your knees wrong? I was just sitting there because we, I told you I was watching the shot. I was just sitting there, my shit is just like I was like, yo, what is this sharp ass pain in is my it, knee? Why do my knees hurt? Because you had them bent for too long. But that's what they do. Yep. Yep. <laughs> that is crazy. Damn it, man. Other than that, how was your week? Man, week's been fun. Uh, I got, um, well, the, I mean, the week was kind of uneventful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hung out with the family. Uh, but we picked up the boy yesterday for spring break. Mm-hmm. So he drove out to Port Charlotte. We didn't even have to go all the way to Fort Myers. That was nice. Went out nice. to see his, uh, saw, saw his, uh, saw, I saw the first basketball game. It's like his fourth game, but it's the first one I was able to go see. And we're going to talk on that later. Mm. Uh, but we, we, it was cool. It was cool to see him play the game. It was cool to see him hanging out with his friends and stuff. We all, you know, the team went out to CeCe's Pizza after that. Cool. And, uh, you know, I hate, I, I don't I don't like CeCe's Pizza, but it was interesting to watch all the kids. Um, that sucked. But <laughs> Yeah, that part, that no, CeCe's is nasty. But it was cool. Um, took him out today. He wanted to work on his shot, so we went out to the park at two in the afternoon, uh, which was a mistake, because <laughs> I think I, th- I think after about twenty minutes we were both suffering heat stroke symptoms. Um, but it was just so it's damn, hot, just so damn hot, hot man. Today in Florida. Uh, but yeah, no, it was cool. He's he's got a little bit of a fever now, but I think he's feeling better. I got Lorraine texting me, letting me know that he's doing all right. So that's good. It'll be an interesting week. I'm looking forward to see what comes, and it'll be uh, next week. We'll probably have a lot more stories. Oh. Oh, I could imagine. Yeah, spring break is uh, it's gonna be <laughs> chock full of them, but um, yeah, man, that's cool. Uh, got a little man. That's what's up. Um, yeah, this week wasn't it wasn't it wasn't that eventful. There's some some stuff happened at Mason School this week that again we're gonna touch on that later because it got me fired the fuck up. But again, we're gonna talk about that a little later. Um, yeah, it, it, as you say that that uh fever thing, my whole house is sick right now except for me and Ma- oh, except for Mace. I'm a little congested. Yeah, just a tad, but um. Nothing really too crazy. Um, we've been trying to find different different things to watch. And I was talking about the, the whole the uh, the shy. Uh, my wife and I stayed up and watched the sh- all ten episodes of the, of the shy last night, straight through. It was <laughs> I haven't done that in forever. <laughs> but it was good. It was a good ass show. Um, but other than that, nothing. Else. My dad came. My dad actually came up. Um, Surprise everybody to come through. He likes to sneak in in the middle of the night like a goddamn thief. Like, nigga, you live here. Like, you ain't got to, like, yeah. <laughs> like, come on. What are you sneaking for, man? You got a key. Yeah, you got, you got, yeah, you got a key. Like, so they're picking a lock. This weird. is the only way I know how to get in the house. Jumping through the window and shit. <laughs> like, you bugging. But yeah, he ain't shots to my daddy's in town. Um, That's really it, man. Uh, Just can't, just can't shake whatever congestion this is in, within me. But I bought mad Thurflu. I'm kind of drugged up now, so we're going to get this shit rolling. <laughs> um, but um, so 
let's just jump right into it, man. With the um, look, we're gonna do a little box office talk real quick, and is I guess it's a little bit of a surprise, right? Ooh, no, 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 no. I'm not surprised at all. It? No, Black Panthers still number one, ranking the, what? What was it for the weekend? Number tw- uh, another twenty six. Yeah, yeah. They're projecting uh, they're projecting the final numbers to be about twenty seven million. About twenty seven million. Yeah. That's uh, great, and it's number one. That's it's past a billion. Um, it's it, people are thinking it's gonna overtake the Avengers, the first Avengers movies yeah. as the uh, as the you know, highest grossing. Highest grossing. I was like, wow, that I would have never thought that. So that's that's pretty dope. Yeah, uh, for a tr- for a movie that I'll admit a year ago I wasn't too excited for the trailer. Mm-hmm. Um, then I saw the trailer and I still wasn't that excited for the movie. I was gonna watch it, but yeah. I wasn't crazy excited for it. And now I'm like, yeah, yeah, this I'm not surprised at all. This is what no. four th- four weeks in a row, five, five, five yeah. weeks in a row at number one. Yeah, one more week and it, I think it ties uh, Avatar. Yeah, for the for that for that record, I'm not surprised. That's dope. That, that movie is, is fantastic. There's a lot of rewatch value. I liked it more the second time I watched it. I still haven't. I only seen it once. I don't know what kind of man I am. Um, number two, Tomb Raider. Uh, I haven't really heard much. I heard it was bearable. I forgot this movie was coming out. A lot of people. I had, did. I had no idea this movie was in theaters right now. I I thought it was coming out in April actually, so that it's out and it made uh, twenty three. It's yeah, opening yeah, weekend. 20, Twenty-three million dollars is a pretty good opening weekend for a video game movie. Yeah, um, I'm, and I, I said I haven't heard bad things about it. Everybody says it's watchable. That's the that's the, that's what I'm getting from it. So and for it's vid- another Mortal Kombat. But for a video game movie, if it's compared to Mortal Kombat, then you've done some 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 justice. Yeah, but saying Mortal Kombat's a good video game movie, that's kind of like a surrender. It's like eh, it's like eating checkers. Like even checkers realizes mm. that their gar- their food is garbage. Their slogan is. Gotta eat, and you know where that bo- you know where that came from. There was a board meeting where they were like, "What do we say about this?" Like, well, I mean, it's four a.m. and everything's closed. And, I mean, you gotta eat. There you go. That, that that's that's the surrender. <laughs> like, oh, this video game movie was watchable. It's on par with Mortal Kombat. Eh, okay. I don't know. I I, I want to see it. Um, I'm not like clamoring to see it. I'm not going to see it in theaters, but I definitely want to check it out. It's it's not that bad. Uh, then at number three. With these faith-based movies, I, it's, the name of the movie is I Can Only Imagine. Um, I haven't heard about this at all. At no. all. But it made like 17, almost 18 million in the box office opening weekend. And again, you haven't heard of it. I haven't heard I've of it. I've never heard of this movie before. I had no but idea. I have no idea A lot of people is. are into this movie. had like a $7 million budget. So it made its money back already. Yeah. That, that's pretty dope. I'm pretty sure my father-in-law is going to... Buy the goddamn DVD and watch Let me tell you, faith based movies, these faith movies have been have been surprising in the box office. Yeah, man. They, they, they don't typically do well. No one expects for them to do well. That's why they only funded it with seven million dollars. Exactly. And here it is banking on seventeen. People are like, oh, well, it's hello. It's not bad. Seventeen million, I'll take it. Uh number four, <sighs> wrinkle in time. Uh that only brought in uh like sixteen million on his second opening week or second weekend actually in the box office. It's not looking good for that movie at all. So this movie is supposed to be a, a, a pedestal movie. Like this was Disney's next big movie until Infinity War. Yes, because they came out with Black Panther. They were going to come out with a wrinkle of time in between to keep making in that money. Because I'm like, okay, Black Panther will lose steam here, so we'll, we'll release a wrinkle in time. Mm-hmm. Five, you know, four weeks out, that'll you know maybe pick up the money. You know, pick up the money we would be losing. Um, and instead, what happened is after in its second week, it got paid out by a movie that everyone forgot was coming out yep. and a movie that no one knew was coming out. Exactly. And have you met Oprah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what they were singing on. I guess they were banking on the star power of Oprah and, and Ava DuVernay as a director. And I don't know, man. It's just not. It, I haven't seen it. I have not heard good things about it at all. No. I have and and it's it's kind of unfortunate. I heard the so this is a book, right? Yeah, I heard the book is one of those unfilmable books. Like, how are you going to turn? I've never read it, but like, how are you going to turn this into a movie? And they they tried their best, and I don't. It's not working out. Yeah, I think so. I think, and I'm I'm jaded. I understand that, and I think about things way too much. My Twitter poster says I can't wait to overthink about this. Nice. Um, so uh, I, going into this, I realized that um, I think Disney was hoping that with Black Panther having everybody swelling with Black Pride, mm-hmm. 
and then releasing a movie that's fronted by Oprah Winfrey. The main um, the main actress is a, you know is a little African American girl. Mm-hmm. You've got Ava DuVernay, DuVernay uh, directing it, and you have Mindy Kaling, who you know represents another group of women of color. I think they were going they were hoping for you know all these you know these this is a movie starring people of color mm-hmm. with Black Panther or people of color rather than Black Panther, and I think they were hoping that that would kind of carry on that pride and that. I, I don't want to say sense of duty to watch this movie, yeah, but, yeah. you know, I, th- I feel like that's kind of what they were hoping yeah. for, that they would strike a nerve with that and, and hoping that that would kind of transcend into this movie. And it did not. Nope. Because they forgot the rule number one is make a good movie. Exactly. And it's and, and people are um, not people, but it's, it's not Ava DuVernay's fault. She didn't write it. She simply was brought in to direct it. Um, she didn't, she didn't, it's not a passion project of hers. It's not something that she's been working on. But how, how involved was she in the, in the development process? Like, did she have any say over the script at no. all? Were there any rewrites? No, nothing. nothing. So she was just called, she was just called in to say, Hey, you're going to sit in this chair and yell action. Exactly. Exactly. <sighs> exactly. She did. She had nothing to do with any of that. Yeah. So. But you know, I don't know, man. Cause you, Kugler wouldn't have done that. No. You know, like part of being a good director is knowing when to turn down a project. Well, she, you, you, I, I mean, yeah, because he's only going to be do the ones that, that, you know, his heart is in, but you see Oprah and you're like, you're not going to, you're not going to turn that down, are you? When's the last time Oprah did anything since the color purple? Doesn't matter, bro. It's Oprah. Yeah. Oprah. Yeah, I don't care. Nigga, it's Oprah. I'm not turning shit Am down. Am I getting a car? <laughs> is everybody getting a car? No. No, then I don't give a shit. Not off of the money they making. No. Nope. Can't afford no. it. Yeah. Can't. Ain't nobody getting a Corvette in this one. Direct ain't getting a Corvette off in this Mm-mm. one. Not at all. But um it's I mean, like again, I haven't seen it, so I gotta reserve judgment on I, how the movie is exactly. But um it looks like you know, WB is actually tapping uh, Ava DuVernay to actually head up an, another movie of theirs, which is uh New Gods. New Gods is 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 in the DC universe per se. Mm-hmm. And this is something that she herself has been attached to for a couple of months now. She's been wanting to do this passion project herself, so she seems to be in it. And uh, WB has, uh, you know, Warner Brothers, they have the faith in her to do the movie. I don't know shit about no goddamn new gods. Apparently, it's uh, DC's equivalent of Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, that's all I know. That's all we know, right? That's, all, that's it. That's and it. No, it's, I, I, again... If this is if because she directed Selma, Selma won a plethora of awards, right? Mm-hmm. Um, if this is one of her passion projects that she's into as as she was into Selma, great, I'm all for it. Um, I hope that the Wrinkle in Time backlash or 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 you know the stuff that is not working for them in in this movie doesn't carry over into what she has to do for the New Gods because DC doesn't need any more flops. No. At all? No, DC can't afford any anything bad right now. Like, it, I'm 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 happy to hear that these early screenings of Aquaman are pretty positive. Mm. Uh, I'm taking that with a grain of salt because so was Justice League and so was Batman versus Superman. All exactly. these early screenings, Suicide where Squad. everybody was like, "Oh, this is a great movie," and the movies were fucking trash. Mm. Um, okay. I uh, yeah, I I I I, I don't know. I, I I I'm happy that she's getting work. Yeah, and you I know, think it's interesting that she just did a project with Disney and now she's doing WB. Like, if she wants to stay in the comic book universe, it's not like MCU's going anywhere. Well, I mean, well, I mean, it's not like they can't use her down the line. You, you want to go ahead and if this is her passion project, go ahead and do what you got to do. They did it for uh for, for what's his name, Josh Whedon. Yeah, they, they did. You know, they let him. They let him go over there. Um, but a lot of people, not a lot of people, but I've I've, I've read some reports that she's staying and this is. Claiming it's coming from her mouth that all oh, you know the bad reviews and the bad press for this movie is due to you know just racist uh, undertones or what have you, and I'm like, dude, you just because it maybe the movie just wasn't good. You can't say, oh, you know it's racist. Whoever reviewed it was racist and they didn't appreciate the art. No, 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 no. It was probably not good. That's probably why you got the the reviews you did. Yeah. Um, and it's not just <laughs> white people that's saying. There's other black people like, yo, this wasn't this wasn't it. They ain't show up for this one. Yeah, they didn't. And, and you know, it's, I, you know, maybe people felt like they were being taken advantage of. Maybe people felt like they were like, they just mm-hmm. want me to watch this because Black Panther just came out. And you know what? Who's to say that Disney didn't plan for that too? Maybe they True. knew this was going to be a bad movie and they were hoping that, that people would kind over. of fall into this just to make some money. 
It, the promotion, the promotional, like the uh, uh, trailers and everything, looked great. They they pushed a it lot of great. marketing onto this, yeah, and and, and I it didn't for what? I don't know. And, and they released it what, on, on uh, in Women's National Women's Month or whatever this is, and maybe that they tried to get some stuff with that, but it just didn't didn't work. I'm not excited to see it. I'm not gonna all. watch it, but it's not something that I'm like, oh man, I gotta see it. Nah, I'm I'm, I'm good, fam. Nah, <laughs> I'll probably check it out when it comes up on Netflix. Or Man. wait, it won't be. Nope, it won't. Disney. Yeah. It'll be it'll be Disney streaming service. Whatever, we'll see how that works out. Whatever fifteen dollars we're paying then. Yep. Well, yeah, but well, uh, that's our that's our little box office roundup. Uh, again, crazy to think that Black Panther is, is really going strong. You think it's going to hold on for another week with uh, Uprising coming out? Yeah, I don't you, think it's in trouble. Really? I mean, Uprising. What's an Uprising? Um, Pacific Rim Uprising. Uh, so Pacific Rim Two Uprising. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I forgot. Do I, yeah, I don't know. I I think. I don't think it's gonna get demolished. If it's gonna be no. a number two, it's gonna be tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if it if it doesn't, if it like stays number one, wow. Yeah, no, you're right. I I, I do think Pacific Rim Uprising is probably gonna take the number one yeah. spot just because I mean it, it's it's time. It's five weeks. Um, no, and if there is gonna be a movie to do it, it's absolutely gonna be Pacific Rim. But has to be. we'll see. Has to be. Has yeah. to be. I, I, w- I wouldn't be surprised. Ready Player, wasn't that coming out? Ready Player One too. It's, it's, it's coming out like fairly soon. Uh, I'm not sure when that's coming out, but I, yeah, it's supposed. I thought to be, it was coming out at the end of this it's month. It's too out. So I think they be. already said that last. Tra- the The last trailer was the last. Yeah, that trailer. was it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't know. We'll see, man. Uh, Black Panther just just holding strong. I'm fucking with it. Yeah. Uh, but staying in that uh realm, if you will. Something else dropped this week that yeah, it did just a bomb. Oh man, it was place. a good Friday, and I'm not religious, but it was a good Friday. <laughs> We're gonna talk, definitely talking about that Infinity War trailer. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Jay is so giddy right now. <laughs> He's like, he go ahead, tell him what you thought. Go Thanos! Thanos, 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 Thanos. Yo, I like Thanos. I'm in love with Thanos. He's my new favorite person. Mm-hmm. Not villain, just carry. I think that we're really gonna feel for Thanos. Yeah, in this movie, yes. like even even like the voiceover. I mean, you don't know the context, you don't know of anything like you, you don't know where it's coming from. But he, what he says is, you know, when you know when I'm done, half of the world's gonna be gone. I hope they remember you. Mm. So it's it's like I, I feel like he really feels like he's doing the right thing. Yeah, I think that's how they're gonna paint this. Like he's not evil. He's not. He's not. Not. I don't want to say evil. He's not maliciously evil. You know what I mean? Like. He's doing what he thinks needs to be done, mm-hmm. and it's just not in line with what we want. No, he's you know bringing I mean? balance to the universe. So, so I think there's probably going to be a little bit of conflict there. I think there's probably, and, and I don't, you know, they they they've been really quiet as far as the mistress death thing is yeah, concerned. Yeah, that's another. Yeah. So I I, I don't know how that's going to tie into it. Um, I because they're already they're already saying Hella may be standing in for mistress death. But Hell is not a cosmic entity, and I don't think they went that route with Thor Ragnarok. I was I was into that too until I saw Ragnarok, and I'm like, ah, I don't think. Like, I don't see be. how they're gonna do yeah, that. I, yeah, I don't see how that's gonna be a thing. I don't even think it's yeah. I don't yeah. I don't think it's gonna be a thing at all, to be honest. But we have been misled before. Well, we have been. Yeah. So, so it, it very well could be some shit in there. It, it, they, it, we haven't seen the movie. They haven't shown everything. No. Um. But what they yeah. That trailer, when I, I've watched it maybe that same day, like 10 to 15 times, because it's so much fanfare, so much, so much Wakanda. Yes. Um, but, And we've seen that in other trailers, but we are like, this, this is where shit's going down. At least that's what they're making it look like. It's yeah. going down. Um, I don't know. What, what else? I, what else have you noticed about that trailer, though? So... I mean, obviously everybody's everybody's noticed that Ant Man, Wasp, Hawkeye aren't in any of the trailers. Mm. But Hawkeye's already been confirmed to be in the movie. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean they, they were I remember they were they were talking about when Jeremy Renner wrapped filming. You know, so they I mean they made a deal that Renner's in this movie. Mm. He's just been out of all the marketing. And so they, there's some theories on with going on with that that he may be on his own independent mission. Right. Like after Civil War, he kind of is just off doing his own thing. And, you know, it, you, you kind of felt that a little bit in Age of Ultron because he's got his family. You know what I mean? Like, right. he's been the one that's going to retire for, like, Before ever. ever. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, he's got his family. He just wants to go retire. Off the so, grid. So, I, you know, I, I feel like we're probably going to get a little bit more Hawkeye than we're expecting just from the marketing. I think they're going to touch on that. Uh, Ant-Man Wasp, I don't think they're going to play a role until <laughs> Avengers 4. Um, right. 
I, I just, I mean, I just love that you've got Gamora. That's uh, apparently Gamora is going to give a lot more backstory to, of Thanos mm-hmm. to everyone, um, which is appropriate. She's she's his adopted daughter. Um, I think we might get a little bit from uh, Nebula. Nebula, yeah, she I might. Wanna, I want to hear some stuff from her too. Yeah, she might come in with her own perspective. And you know, they set up the trailer like, oh shit, they are going to have to. They are actually going to explain this to the Avengers because they have no idea who the fuck this is. Red, so right now, in where we are, where we left everybody at on Earth, nobody knows who Thanos is. Okay, Thor at the end of Thor Ragnarok. Spoiler. Uh, Thanos' ship comes out and uh, it looks like obliterates everybody in that area. So Thor is gonna kind of know who Thanos is because he finds uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, but, and um, I, you know it would have surprised me if Thor knew of Thanos just because he is kind of in that mystic yeah. realm a little bit. Um, I mean, it it, it it would be tricky like if he would have been like, I thought you were just a legend. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Which you know I, I could see how that would kind of play in, so you don't have to explain so much to everybody. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy for sure know who Thanos is because they've already dealt with him. They didn't deal with him, but they, you know, dealt with his uh, cronies, I guess you could yeah. say. I mean, Lo- and, and going back to Thor, Loki knows Thanos. Yes. So, Loki you know, it know wouldn't surprise me if Thor knew of something too. You know what I mean? So, that that, that might help kind of lend credibility to it. Um, because you're going to have the Avengers meeting the Guardians for the first time. Gamora is some green chick that they've never met, is telling her about Thanos. How do they know she's not full of crap? And then if Thor and Loki come out of it and be like, yo, no, this guy's legit. Like, they, right. we, like we know who he is. So yeah, I think that would kind of go to help the Avengers understand really what's going on. Yeah, it's um, just gonna be crazy. Yeah, I don't know, and, and um, I'm not, and I'm not saying I'm pissed off about it, but I, I was, I was just wondering why they didn't give any kind of lines to to T'Challa, Black Panther. I, I mean, I, w- I would have thought that the marketing, because of, and I know that Disney is not reactionary; they're not gonna yeah. change their plan. But I would thought they would have give a little bit more of something to say to Black Panther. I think they nailed, I think they gave us everything they need to give us in the first trailer when you said, uh, you know, uh, prepare your defenses and get this man a shield. Okay. Um, because yeah. right right off the bat, you're already, he's already setting himself up in a position of power, like leadership. Yeah. Like he's telling them, get him a shield, get your defenses ready. So he he's the, from that trailer. I already felt like all right, black like T'Challa's not coming up from some like hey guys, I'm the new kid here. What's going on? He's yeah, coming out he's with taking the, charge. No, you got get your shit together, get him a shield, squash whatever it is you need to squash, mm. and get your shit ready. So he's coming out and telling them. So it, I I think that already set enough of a tone for him. And then we've seen in subs you know in the in the other trailers how much is actually happening in Wakanda. Yeah. So I, I think that set him up. I don't think we need more Black Panther. I think we need more of an idea of how this story is going to be. And more I think a lot of people are, you know no one's really come on. It, it's a very slow realization that people are making that oh they're going to have to explain Thanos in this movie a lot. Yeah. This is this is what this is Thanos's movie. This is not like we're getting everything. You know, from you know Spider Man and Iron Man and Doctor Strange and all these people, they're just letting them know that hey, they're in this movie, but this movie is all about Thanos. Like I feel like that scene when he's holding uh, the hand of Gamora, I think that's like the opening. That gotta be like the opening. That's gotta that's gotta be in the, the first beginning. act. Yeah, there's no way or, that's or or Gamora telling. Uh, and I think Gamora is talking to Thor. I don't think she's talking to yeah, Iron Man. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like Tony. Yeah. Tony Stark looks like he's sitting somewhere else. And, yeah, and stuff I think like Iron that. Man is getting his information from no. from uh, Doctor Strange. Yeah, I I think I, I think Gamora when they find Thor and Thor's like, who the fuck is this guy? Mm. I think that's what we're like he may have an idea, like I said, and he, she, she's like, oh, you don't know the half of it, and she's telling him the whole story. Mm-hmm. I think you're right there. I think she's having that conversation with Thor and filling him in on everything. Yeah. And then Strange, um, Iron Man's having this conversation elsewhere with someone else. Might be Strange because Strange knows about the Infinity yeah, Stones. It's gotta be Strange. You know, it might be Wong even. Wong might be kind of be like the yeah. one with all the knowledge. He's a librarian, so he would know the, mm-hmm. these things. That's crazy. I, it's, I can't. I, I can't wait for this movie. Um, Trailer did everything it needed to do. Uh, tickets went on sale. Uh, I didn't get mine yet, but I gotta go get my shirts because we are going in there full force. Me, Mace, the girls. Man, everybody. I'm not gonna lie. I actually canceled the weekend of shows just so I could watch this movie. Oh man, you are dedicated. Yep, That's what I'm talking about like like, you, like legit like my like my favorite club to perform at too. I, I I'm like, hey guys, I I'm sorry. I, I know I booked that weekend. Things changed and, and I'm I'm not gonna be available. I gotta, I gotta change up. Yeah. So. Sorry. And it's like five weeks notice, so I'm hoping I'm not making your lives a little bit hell to rebook this, but I, I, I gotta go. Damn Sorry. it, man. 
Yeah, because I'm not I'm not waiting on this one. No, I waited didn't. for Black Panther for the same reason. I was performing at the same club the weekend Black Panther oh, opened. Oh shit! So I was like, all right, I'll just watch Black Panther on Sunday, and things will be good, and things will be okay. I'm not, I'm not doing this for, for Infinity War. And no. I'm going to be there Thursday night. It's crazy because the ticket, the, the so the pre-ticket sales are now outpacing Black Panther. Yeah, which is crazy because that shit was already broke breaking records. This movie is gonna be insane. You think it's gonna you think it's gonna be Force Awakens two fifty mil first weekend? It's gonna be the first movie of the summer too. Yeah, April twenty seventh. What's crazy opening movie. against it? No, exactly. Nothing. Exactly. Nothing. Yeah, I think I think this movie if it doesn't if it doesn't hit two hundred fifty mil, it's gonna give Force Awakens a run for its money. At least I think it'll hit Last Jedi at two twenty five. Real yeah, real easy. It, it's gonna come up close. Yeah, two twenty five definitely. Um, but if it passes that, that's great. And I think honestly, I think a lot of it's gonna do with Black Panther being in it because of the success. This this was this was they knew what the hell they were doing. I think Disney saw this shit a mile away because with the success of Black Panther. Uh, two hundred and one million open a weekend for that, and then damn near at a, oh, it's over a billion worldwide now. Um, by the time pe- people are already clamoring to to go back to Wakanda, yeah. So when they show, you're right, them showcasing Wakanda a lot in this promotional material is going to get the same, not all of them, but the same people that that you know ears perked up when they seen uh, Black Panther the first time. They're gonna come right back. Yeah, you're gonna get a lot of people. Oh, this is Black Panther too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, bring it in. Yeah, bring it. In. <laughs> yeah, they 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 gained a lot. New a lot of new audience members with Black Panther. Oh, people yeah. who had no idea that the MCU was a thing, mm-hmm. people who never really paid attention to it, but saw Black Panther like, wow, this is actually a really good movie. Yeah. Um, I, I yeah, I think I, I think that's gonna carry over a lot. Man, I can't wait. April twenty seventh, I am in there. Let us know, guys. Let us know what you what, what you know what what you're wearing to go see it. I know I'm gonna have my Black Panther garment on. Um, give us a call three two one four zero five twenty two nineteen. Yeah, but um, another trailer dropped this week. Yeah, it did another one that I'm super excited about. Yeah, like just as much as uh, uh, <laughs> Infinity War. Um, Fantastic Beasts: Crimes of Grindelwald. Basically, Fantastic Beasts two. Yeah, man, returning back to this Harry Potter wizarding world universe thing is the is it's amazing to me. I it's <laughs> I guess I you can say I grew up on on Harry Potter. So to speak, the first book yeah. came out when ninety seven. Yeah, you ain't you know what you was doing. 97? I never got into it. Ninety seven. I was I was looking at girls. I was I wasn't I wasn't. I mean I was looking at them, but you know they weren't really looking back. <laughs> so it didn't do much for me. But no man, um, you know, going through those eight movies of uh, of Harry Potter, and then when Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them came out back in was it two years ago now, uh, twenty sixteen. Yeah, man. It brought it just it brought all it brought everything back. Even though it wasn't in the Wizarding World, it wasn't in Hogwarts or whatever. You right. knew it was in that same universe, and it was just dope. Yeah, I'm I'm late to the whole game. I and matter of fact, I saw Fantastic Beasts before I saw my first Harry Potter movie. Uh-huh. Well, that's um, fine. So I mean, I dig it. <laughs> it's, not, it's not you for, think. For the sake of the girls, I watched all the. I watched all seven movies. Mm-hmm. Um, I I enjoyed them. You know, once we got to the third one, and these kids finally learned how to act, and, mm-hmm. and the characters were developed, and you know, it was a good story. I was really interested in the story, and I like everything that happened. Fantastic Beasts was a cool movie. Mm-hmm. I have to watch it again because I didn't appreciate it because I didn't watch Harry Potter first. Right. So I do have to go back and watch it again just to make sure that everything is you know you know to make sure that I I get the full experience like everyone else got. I'm 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 happy this movie's happening. I wouldn't say I'm excited for it just because it's not exactly my cup of tea. But it is a world I'm interested in, and a, mm. you know, I I I think it's gonna be great. I'm, I I, I am it. happy that this is the thing that's happening, and, and and I get the fan base. It's one of those things like it's one of those movies that I watch it. I'm like I absolutely agree that this is an amazing movie, and I understand why it has a following it has. Mm-hmm. So you're a fan? No. <laughs> it's not my cup of tea, but I get it. I, no, I, no, I absolutely get absolutely. it. And it's uh, listen. Uh, let's see. We got um, Jude Law playing Dumbledore. Um, a lot of people don't realize Dumbledore is gay. Yeah, Dumbledore yeah, I did hear is about that. gay, and it didn't make sense to know this in the previous eight movies um, because it had nothing to do with the story. Didn't matter. He wasn't showing any love interest or whatever. None of that. This actually plays because part two is about the crimes of Grindelwald. He was in love with Grindelwald, and now he has to take Grindelwald down. How can you do that when you're in love with him? 
So now his sexuality mm. is, yeah, his sexuality is actually, it plays a part. So yeah, it makes more sense though. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah, he's gay. I was like, oh, oh shit. Well then you gotta, yeah, because he likes this dude. So yeah, absolutely. Now so that's a whole new layer to the whole thing. Exactly. And now when you look at him, you can I mean you can't tell. When you look at him and you see how he moves and his mannerisms and all that, you like because he's it's young Dumbledore. It's not the old long bearded yeah. claw hand Dumbledore. This is young, not teenage, but nineteen twenties, nineteen thirties. Young Dumbledore. You know what I mean? Yeah. Flashy. Mad cocky and I, and I like everything About the character So far that I'm seeing I hope he does it justice And then you got Johnny Depp Playing Grindelwald Not sure if I, I don't know If Grindelwald knows That he's gay Or that he's in love with him Or what have you If he's gonna use that Against him You know what I mean Cause you see uh, Dumbledore and Eddie Redmayne's character um, You know Working together To, to, to take him down in, in the uh, In the Trailer But again This Whole thing now makes sense to know his sexuality, to know the struggle that's going to go on in his head. Yeah, I, I will say because uh, I got to speak up. Lorraine on this one is again the the big Harry Potter fan, so she's been concerned about Johnny Depp playing yeah. Grindelwald. Like she has not been happy about this. <laughs> she's she's been she loves Johnny Depp. She loves everything he's done with Tim Burton. She's a huge, you know, she she really respects the band, but she's not happy with what he's been doing lately. In other movies, yeah. So she's a little concerned about what's going on with him. And she, I, I, you know, during the trailer, you know, there, there's a little glimpse of him. And she's like, okay. Mm-hmm. She's, a, she's a little more, I don't want to say interested in it. I want to say accept, uh, maybe a little more accepting of it. Yeah. You know accepting. what I mean? Like she, yeah. She's a little more like, okay, I'm willing to give him a chance. He he looks, because he, 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 he was revealed at the end of the first movie. He looks... Like he would do a good job. I did see the. I think if we're talking about the same, but he's in the back. Yeah, and he, the hair's all crazy, and he, you see the, the madness in his eyes. Yeah, that if he can keep that because this Grindelwald is supposed to be menacing. Yeah, and when she she explained the character to me, I was like, oh, well, yeah, Johnny Depp makes sense for that role. Mm-hmm. You know, and so and, and she, like I said, she's never been like against Johnny Depp doing it. She's just concerned that right. Johnny Depp is going to Johnny Depp the fuck out of this. <laughs> And and just be Johnny Depp, yeah. Um, and so that that's where I, I think that's where her concern is. And I mean, I get that too, because it's true. Johnny Depp, and he Johnny Depp's the living hell out of everything. True, um, true. But I, I get. I think I think this is a well a uh, well established enough universe that can tell. Hey, bring it in. This is not what we're trying to do here. Do yeah. This this is what we want. This is what we paid. This is what we hired you for because we know you can do this. Just do it the do way it. Just do, do what it. we tell you to do. And I, I don't I don't have an I don't have an issue with it. We got him in there, we got Jude Law, Eddie Redmayne. Um looks like Zoe Kravitz uh is in the movie as well as uh a Lest- I'm not even gonna know what the f- you know who the Lestrange family is? Who? Yeah, yeah, forget it. Yeah. <laughs> Ezra Miller, hey look, the flash is in here. The flash is in here. <laughs> and it's crazy be spoiler, because uh, a lot of people thought he died at the end of the last one. But no, if you watch the, the ending of Fantastic Beasts, you'll see the the his his uh spirit just float away, actually. So the my daughter was mad confused. Like, I thought he died. I was like, Nope, let's pull it up on HBO right now and fast forward uh-huh. to the end. Yeah, he's uh so he's in it. Um I don't uh, yes, the big Big story about this one is Grindelwald, and because it's supposed to be a big wizarding war, and he's going to be a part of it. Like that's the thing. Yeah, there was that one scene in the trailer with uh, Dumbledore, and who I gotta say, Jude Law kind of looks like Doctor Cox from Scrubs. In the uh, he poster. does a little bit. He like does. I'm waiting for him to walk up to what's the guy's name from Fantastic Beasts, the main guy, Eddie Redmayne. Uh, uh, no, but his character, character. Uh, Newt's commander. Newt's commander. Yeah, he looks like he's gonna walk up to Newt's commander. I mean, it's already his name. His name's already Newt. She's gonna be like, <laughs> newbie, right here, eyes up. Look at me. <laughs> hey, like, I feel like that's what's about to happen right here. Oh man. Um, but I, I lost my train of thought because Doctor Cox just totally engulfed me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. No, no. This is um. No, no. I get. I get what you say. He does. He. <laughs> Fucking does I had back. a point. I was actually going to make a point. Then I looked up at the screen and I was like, oh shit, it's Dr. Cox. It'll come back to you. Oh, yes. Yeah. There's a scene with Don't Newt's you. commander <laughs> Dumbledore. <laughs> like they're That one scene in the trailer where they're like, they, oh, they yeah. raise their hands up like He-Man for a second and throw it in the ground like they're just doing some dance dance revolution synchronized oh thing. God. That's the one thing of the trailer I watched. I'm like, really? Really? Do we need synchronized fighting? Like, is it what is this? West Side Story? Do we really need this? West Side Story. Um, but yeah, well, I mean, I, like I said, that's the one thing to the trailer that I was like, that's yeah. cheesy. But it's also 
you know, this is you're allowed to have a little bit of cheese with this. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's the universe that's set up. That's the 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 whole thing is supposed to be whimsical. Mm -hmm. So I'll take it. Yes, everything. And looking at this Johnny Depp picture right now, I I'm excited for this movie. I cannot wait. I hope he does this character justice because again, he's supposed to be menacing. He's supposed to be at this. He's you know who Voldemort is, right? Yeah. Thank God. He's supposed to be the Voldemort of this time. Okay. All right. So he, it, it, with, you know, with a nose, at least. You know, looking at the still shot of Johnny Depp in that thing, I kind of want Johnny Depp to play Joker now. Riddler. I want him as the Riddler. I want him as the Riddler. If, I feel like if you gave him Riddler, he'd Jack Sparrow the hell out of it. Mm. And he'd probably do that to the Joker, too, but you can't. Like, Joker's a little more... A little more ringed in. Uh, yeah. For a Joker, yes. Okay. Let's see what... I can see it. If I, it was I, a, I, I would like to see him as Riddler. You're right. But I'd be worried about him Johnny Deppin' the fuck out of the Riddler. <laughs> <laughs> like that, that's what I'm worried about there. Well, I mean, he can't be no worse than Jim Carrey. Uh, mm-hmm. We yeah. don't talk about that movie, We man. do not, do we? There yeah. was nothing after Batman Returns. Well, I listen. It was about Batman, Batman, Batman Returns, and then Christian Bale. <laughs> I definitely watched those movies with my son. So, yeah, I have to relive those days. Oh. Yeah, man. But, um, oh, look. Like I said, I'm excited for both of those movies. Infinity War is coming out April 27th. Crimes of Grindelwald, Fantastic Beast 2 is coming out November 16th. I like those I like the November 16th release date because every time I watch Harry Potter, it gives me in the Christmas spirit, the holiday time. Yeah. So I love I love going uh, uh doing it at that time. So man, I, I I can't wait. I know I'm going first day for both. Maybe even the day before, I can't tell the kids. <laughs> they, they're, they're on episode 16. They're not going to hear uh, this. Oh, yeah. Lorraine and I have already agreed that we are watching Infinity War first. Mm-hmm. And then we're mm-hmm. taking the kids. Yeah. 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 That's what I'm going to have to do. I don't give a shit. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, man. But yeah, man, that, that's what it is right now. Folks, let us know what you think about those two trailers. Let us know what you think about Black Panther and its crazy success. Um, and did you watch A Wrinkle in Time? Probably not. Let us know why. <laughs> Give us a call at 321 And if you did watch A Wrinkle in Time, let us know why. You can hit us up on the Facebook page at, no, at uh, Pops On. Find us on Twitter at No Dad Jokes with a Z. Mm-hmm. Uh, find us on Instagram at No Dad Jokes. Or shoot us an email at No Dad Jokes at gmail.com. And Twitter, uh, Twitter and Gmail, that's No Dad Jokes, the way it's supposed to be spelled, the way it's spelled in America with an S. Miracle. Um, miracle. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, yeah, let us know what you think. Let us know why you watched The Wrinkle in Time. No, let me know if it's good. I want to see it. I want to check it out. Is Oprah worth, you know, spending my hard-earned money on? Or should I just, you know, Netflix that bitch? I'm just going to go watch A Color Purple again. No. I didn't, you know, mm-mm. You ever watch that movie for color girls? For colored girls? No. For, it's, yeah. No. Don't watch it. <laughs> it's it's Oprah I would feel, I would and feel, Tyler Perry. I don't know that I would be allowed to rent that. Well, you uh, know what? Thank goodness we don't have to rent that anymore. Hold on, that's to show my age. You sure did. Like, I'm over here. Rent I'm over it. here pondering how I'm going to explain this to the blockbuster. You know, the high school <laughs> dropout working at Blockbuster. Like, please don't judge me for renting this. For color girl. Yo, you know what's funny? This is way off topic. Um, yesterday. What's today? Is Monday? Today's Monday. God damn. Saturday. We went to some Caribbean festival in Orlando, but it was like in the back of a carnival. So it was mad, like white people. And I'm trying to figure out where's the Caribbean festival because I'm not seeing anybody. So I, you know, I asked, I asked the white dude. I was like, "Hey, um, you know what the Caribbean festival is?" My man, can, yeah. Uh, you see where all that noise is coming from? Right over yonder. Yeah, follow that noise. It's all those people back there. I was like, I'll feel a little bit of a way about you talking to me like that, but I don't have my people here to back this up. So I'm gonna. I'm going to go ahead and walk. <laughs> you get up there and just yell out Wakanda forever and everybody <laughs> starts charging the rest of the carnival. Wakanda forever! Yo. I was I was like, dude, first of all, I was, I was so... I, I like, laugh my ass off if you get there and chat with Bozeman and Michael B. Jordan actually fighting in the middle of the pit. Oh, that would have in the pit because we're Caribbean. God damn it. <laughs> nah, it was dope, though. It was a little it was a white clef, right? clef John headlined the show. Oh, didn't know him and all his millions. Million, <laughs> he might as well, right? That because man got the strongest Haitian accent I think I've ever. My no. <laughs> man didn't speak English the whole concert. The all I understood was Donald Trump, and that was it. I don't know what he said. He did about the whole him. thing in Creole. A whole thing. I, I, I'm uh, pretty sure that shit was a Haitian fest because nothing else was spoken. 
The That's food. a lot of grill. Oh, tell me you got some grill. Man, I, I love some good Haitian food. I did get some grill. Very good. First time I've ever had it. Shit was amazing. Still don't really know what it was, but I didn't care. It's chicha. Uh, you you know chicharron, right? I just had that yesterday too. It's the same thing. Oh. It's a little spicier. Eh. Spicy it's good. It's good shit. I I liked it. I liked it. No, but it, I was like, because it was just me and the wife, a little date time. And I was like, yeah, babe, <clears throat> you see all of this Creole talking and you see the look on your face because you don't know what's going on. That is me in church. <laughs> that is it. That confused look that you have, it's me. You know how everybody's <laughs> speaking this language to you and you don't understand it mm-hmm. and they get mad at you because you don't understand it, but you're here anyway? Mm-hmm. This is church. <clears throat> this is how I feel in church. Do you understand why I'm not going now? <laughs> Do you get it? All right. Thank you. Let's get out of here. Well done. <laughs> well, yeah, folks, just a little tidbit. This is also a commercial for Haitian food. So if you find a Haitian restaurant in your mm-hmm. area, wherever you live, uh, look for one. Support your local business and uh, go ask for some griot and some Hoppin' John Rice. That shit will change your life. Yes. Yeah, you grew up in Miami. You know about all that I shit. I know about Little Haiti. Come mm-hmm. on. Yeah, man. Sa passe. That's all I got. Sh- yeah. Oh, and manger caca. I don't... It means I eat shit. Know. Oh, dear, I didn't know what look, I told you, look, in Miami is the home of road rage. You got to learn how to yell shit in three different languages. I got mm-hmm. English and Spanish nailed down. Monje Kaka gives me the one thing I'd need if I'm on Martin Luther King and Second Avenue. Monje Kaka. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say that to somebody. There you go. And see what happens. But yeah, folks, <laughs> shout out to all the Haitians out there. We appreciate you. Um, take a listen to these messages real quick. Yep. What's going on, Pop Song Nation? This is your boy Raul of Pop Song. And guess what? Your favorite dad's got a new number, new phone. Who this? Yeah, man, you guys can reach us at three, two, one. Why is it ringing already? This call will be recorded what at Monica. Hell? I have a collect call from. Hey, I got a dad joke for you guys. <laughs> what? What does a snowman eat for breakfast? An inmate oh, at Lord. a San Bernardino County. Bro, who do we know in San Bernardino jail? Oh sh! How did he get this number? Anyway, um, yeah, 321-405-2219. What the fuck is going on now? Hello? Okay, yeah, listen, I'm ready to come pick up my two pies. I nice. want everything on it. Whoa. No onions like last no, time. No, no, wait a minute. Stop, shit. stop, stop. No. Who do you think you're calling right now, dude? I'm looking for Sal's pizza. This is not Sal's, dude. This is Pop's on. Pop's on? Yeah. In Florida? Yes. You gotta be kidding me. Yes. I love you guys. Oh, okay. This is incredible. Yes. Rob, well, it does sound like you. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. All right, you know, get on that Twitter shit and tell them to release the S already. Will do, partner, will do. All right, listen, take care. Peace. Let me turn this damn phone off. Listen, 321-405-2219. Call us, leave a voicemail, send us a text message. We definitely want to play these voicemails of your best dad jokes or your topics on the show at some point. 321-405-2219. That's Pop Song. You guys have a great day. Con paciencia, yeah. It's an old Spanish phrase. Con paciencia y vaselina, el elefante se mete en la hormiga. Translates to, with patience and vaseline, the elephant will enter the end. Wow. Yep. That sounds terrible. Yeah. A little rapey. It's a pickup line. <laughs> in fucking Colombia? Nah. nah. <laughs> oh my. More, more, more of a Miami influence. Oh my god. That's just one of those dumb things we say. There's another one that says, uh, "No es pato, pero sí sabe dónde queda el lago." Mm. Um, pato is a word that we use for homosexuals, oh. um, and we say, you know, he's not gay, like he's not a duck, but he knows where the lake is. Ah. You know I mean? That would be the equivalent of he's got a little bit of sugar in his tank. That makes sense. Yes. Uh, well, welcome back, folks. Oh, we're recording. Ha! Yeah. Hey, uh, <laughs> episode 34 with some J-isms. <laughs> yeah. This is what happens when you grow up in shitty neighborhoods, folks. <laughs> yeah. You learn the most disgusting and deplorable things to say to people. Shit. That is hilarious. Well, again, Pop Song, episode 34. Uh, give us a call, 321-405-2219. Man. Jay. Yo. Jay. Yeah. Fucking adults, bro. You know what? If I had more of an adult influence, I would probably not know these deplorable things to say to people. <laughs> if I had, if I had more adult influence in my life. Oh man. Uh, so uh, a little earlier, you touched on uh, you went to your kid's basketball game. Yeah, I remember a couple episodes back, you explained how much that basketball thing cost. Yes, uh, six hundred dollars. Mm. 
Yeah, six hundred dollars for the season. His mom and I went fifty fifty on it. Mm. Um, and I rely on his mother, you know, to to really police what's going on because she's there. You know what I mean? I I, I hate I hate to say it, but I am a long distance father. Mm-hmm. Um. I'm not as involved as I would like to be in the day-to-day stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so I rely on his mom on a lot of that. Yeah, I really do. And for the most part, she nails it. You know, I, I'm happy to say that her and I actually do get along for the most part enough to co-parent. Awesome. Um, and, and typically, most of the time, she's on point with it. Um, but this basketball thing has turned into a nightmare. Mm. And it's not her fault. She had no way of knowing that this is what it would turn into. Um, you know, we, 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 we chanced it. Um, so I went to his first basketball game. Uh, well, I went to my first basketball game uh, mm. for him, um, and I noticed right off the bat it was the score was thirty one to nine when mm. I walked in. This was halfway through the first half. Oh my god! Because uh, they played college rules, it's two halves. Uh, each half I think is like ten minutes long, 10, 15 minutes somewhere around there. Okay. Um, you know these are kids; they're not playing like three hour games. Um, I I got to the game halfway through the first quarter. The score looked like I was playing my kid in Madden. Like it was it. Looked, <laughs> It, 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 and you could tell right off the bat, you got this other team uh, that was organized. They were running plays. They were running pick and rolls. They were talking to each other on the court. They had a couple of shooters. This one kid, I don't know who he is, number five. They didn't have names on the back of their jerseys, this mm-hmm. team. Uh, but this kid, you could, you did not leave him open because he was going to sink it. Every time, he, every time he threw the ball up, it was going to find a net. Um, so that I mean, it was impressive to watch. It was really cool. And then I saw my son's team. Uh, they look like five year olds playing soccer. Oh damn! It's just a, f- five kids on the court running after the ball. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it was bad, and so I, this is the first game I got to watch. And I'm, you know, his mom's there, and I'm talking to his mom, and I was like, "What is going on? Why this 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 is this 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 practice has been going on for a while? He's been going to these practices. They've been playing games for a little bit. Mm-hmm. What is going on?" What 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 did I just pay six hundred dollars for? Yeah, um, because yeah, it's cool that they got their names on the back of their jerseys, and they're all Hispanic. It looked like I was watching a baseball game. Um, <laughs> I was uh, immediately confused because it's like Alvarez and Herrera and Gutierrez and Gomez and Pagan. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> Where's the basketball? Oh my! Like, God. why aren't these kids playing basketball? So his mom explained to me that. Um, so the coaching staff, uh, mind you. I also noticed the coaching staff didn't seem to know what they were doing. Uh, and that's because the head coach was not at the game. Uh, apparently, the head coach and the assistant coach are sleeping with each other. Nice. Uh, and there is some rift in paradise. Uh, apparently, practices the two coaches telling the kids to play stri- scrimmage games while they hash out whatever relationship issue they're having. Um, so there's no actual direction. No one's actually teaching these kids the fundamentals of basketball. $600. And there was a team meeting... Uh, that took place with the ownership of the, you know, the, the organization that he's part of. Mm. And they said, oh, we are not, you can't expect us to teach these kids the fundamentals. We only take kids that already know how to play the game. We are a competitive league, not a training league. Mm. And to which I wasn't there. Obviously, I was not there because that would not be how that conversation ended. Because um, immediately I would have raised my hand and said, no, I'm sorry. Uh, you did, you are not picking kids who already understand the fundamentals. Right. You are picking kids whose parents gave you $600. Exactly. Right? You did not hold tryouts for this team. That's fucking You bullshit. said, if you pay this money, we will get your kid on the team. And I, 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 from the first part, from when we talked about this several episodes ago, I said I was against that. No, I want you should have tryouts. And if you make the team, especially if I'm investing $600 in this, mm-hmm. then you know the, the, there's going to be some training. There's going to be some coaching. That's why you have coaches to help coach that talent out of the kids. Uh, you did not do that. You did not have tryouts. You said pay me $600 and your kid's on the team. I'm doing that knowing that my son's never played competitive basketball before, mm-hmm. knowing that my kid's never played basketball before. <laughs> um, and I'm expecting you, like his football team, he's on a football team and they teach fundamentals. They teach you how to play the game. And this isn't happening. And they're shirking. That's the word of the night, for, for apparently. Yeah. Uh, it's like they're, they're shirking their responsibility to these kids because, it, you, you know, you, you got to come back to the whole it takes a village. All right, I am not the only adult influence on my son's life. His mother is not the only adult influence on his life. His teachers are influences on his life. His coaches are influences on his life. 
And these coaches, this this whole organization, seems like they're just shirking that. The coaching staff that was actually at this game was the assistant coach who didn't say a damn word. Mm -hmm. He's some 24-year-old. We're going back to Haitians. He's some 24-year-old Haitian kid (laughs) who didn't say shit. And the fact that he's Haitian has nothing to do with anything except for the fact that he's Haitian. Um, But it's just that that's... He, he's just sitting there. The kids don't respect him. The couple of times he did try to talk, kids were having their own conversations. Oh, they were no. talking over him. Yeah. So he commands no respect right off the bat. Uh, the acting, quote unquote, head coach was actually a mom of one of the kids that's on the team. Uh, when they realized that the head coach wasn't showing up, she stepped up because she actually coaches girls soccer. So she has that coach ID. So she stepped in and acted as head coach. Uh, coaches girl soccer. She has no idea what the fuck she's doing. Huh. Um, all she's doing is yelling at the kids and trying to keep them motivated, even though they're getting slaughtered. The game ended fifty-one to nineteen. Six hundred dollars. That's what I'm sinking six hundred dollars into. Six hundred fucking dollars. Six hundred dollars, so my son can have a jersey with his name on it. Oh, they look good. And, 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 and that's it. They've won. They've played. So they've had. They play in tournaments and they play multiple games each day. Mm. Oh, um, wow. They've won one. Out of, I believe, 12 games. Oh. And then the team that they beat came back and slaughtered the shit out of them. $600. The next time. $600. I paid $600 for my son to play basketball at the park. You ain't even buy a trophy. You just... $600. Nope. Damn it, man. So... So there wasn't and, and, even no head coach. And, and, and what's pissed me off is that these these are the adults that I'm entrusting mm-hmm. my, ch- my child with. You know what I mean? Like... You, you have a responsibility. When I said, okay, he is going to be on your team, and here, is the do, here are the dues, <coughs> you have a responsibility at that point and you, to influence my son. You, you, have an influence, you have a responsibility to train him, to teach him how to play basketball, teach him some discipline, yeah. because that's what comes with playing a sport, just like the football team does. They're big on discipline. You, you act up. You don't play the game. Simple. Um, they, they are feigning it. They're faking interest. They're faking that they're actually taking part in this. My son apparently got a write-up in school the other a uh, couple weeks ago, and they had him doing squats. Okay, cool, but... Wow. I'm not seeing any I'm, You know The proof is in the pudding You know that's a phrase yeah. that, that I'm getting my money back The proof is in the pudding Well there is no proof And there is no pudding <laughs> it, it, It's it's shitty Watery tapioca At best Oh my god Yeah the, Like the retirement home tapioca Like you eat it And you think of the Golden Girls theme song right? uh, That's what I'm getting right now Thank you for being a friend Yeah Yeah <laughs> Only you're not being a friend right now You know what being a friend is Not robbing me for $600 just to just just to, for for a jersey with my son's name on it. That's what I paid six hundred dollars for. That's bullshit. Does was every team had to pay six hundred dollars? No, nah, I don't know. I have no idea. I think they got y'all. I, I think they did. God Especially and then it. when they came out with the whole oh you know you we we're not a training league. We're not going to teach your kids the games. We we picked them expecting that they already know the game. I said based off what the fact that the parents could shell out six hundred dollars. You expecting that because we got the money. You these kids know how to play basketball? No, fuck you. That's mm-hmm. not how this is. So that's that's that pisses me off because you have these adults that are in a position, yeah, man, and, and they're not doing anything with it. They're just after the money. Like, why are you involved with children's lives if you're not into? These are kids, all right? Rob adults. Yeah. I mean, they, they they didn't rob the kids. They robbed us. They absolutely did. But the kids are the ones getting screwed out of it in the long run. And that's I take that very personally because now you're an influence on my son's life, and you're not even an influence he respects. Facts. Like when after the game, when the assistant, the actual assistant coach was giving a speech, these kids didn't give a shit. Jesus, they Christ. had no respect for this guy. How how did they pick the coaches? Like just <coughs> you, come here. Well, I don't know. They apparently picked the head coach, and she apparently picked a boyfriend Jesus. as the assistant coach. It, it, and and she didn't even show up to the game because they fighting. Really, that's man. for real. That's what's going on. That's yeah. what's hot and popping in the streets. In the streets. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I, I, I just, I don't I don't understand how this is a thing. And it pisses me off. Hell yeah, man. You pay $600. If I pay $600 for some, that for that type of stuff, I'm expecting you to teach him the fundamentals. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm expecting you to work at practice to work on certain drills. Because so, you said the other team was like doing pick and rolls. Man, and yo, those, dude, other the shit. other team, during halftime? Mm-hmm. That other team was running drills. See what I'm saying? Coach was on the coach was on the floor with them during halftime saying, hey, this is what you need to work on. This is what I noticed. Like they, There was real coaching. There was real teaching. And it showed. Damn. There was proof in that pudding. My son's team, they were sitting on the benches. 
At one point, the acting head coach finally realized that, hey, this looks bad. She pulled all the kids off. They went back to the bathroom by the locker room. Mm-hmm. And she tried to give her them the best pep talk she could muster. She tried. I will give her that. And I appreciate her for doing what she did. Mm-hmm. Her name's Lourdes. I don't know her last name. Uh, but if you're listening to this, chances are you'll never hear, you've never heard of me before. Uh, but thank you. This, <laughs> is up, this is in the universe now. Yeah, thank you for true. trying to do what you did. Um, but it, it, it pisses me off that adults are just sh- not not taking responsibility for what they're expected to be responsible for. Shirking. It, yeah, they're shirking it. And then they wonder why kids have no respect for anyone. They wonder why these kids are, you know, I don't want to say shooting up schools because that's too on the money right now. Yeah, but really. they wonder why these kids have no respect for authority. They wonder why these kids have no respect for the adults in their lives. Well, this is why. Because the adults aren't taking responsibility for it. When a head coach is talking to a bunch of 12-year-olds and none of them are paying attention, and then the coach is looking at the parents to calm our kids down, I looked at them and said, nah, son. Nah, $600. You're the coach. You're in charge. Mm -hmm. If they don't respect the fact that you're in charge or they don't recognize the fact that you're in charge, you're fucking up. Because I promise you right now, none of these kids have ever met me because I don't live with in Fort Myers. I don't live with my son. The only one who recognizes me is the one that I helped give birth to. Mm-hmm. All right, and I say help loosely. <laughs> she did all the work. She did all the I work. just sat there, held her hand, and said "push" as if she forgot to push. <laughs> <laughs> like that's a thing like, women forget to remember. do when they're locked up, when they're in the stirrups, and they just get vapor locked. Like, oh, I'm supposed to put that. I, I didn't do anything. Oh He's goodness. the only one that recognized me. I promise you, I could have walked in that hallway and say, "Hey." And every single one of those kids would have stopped what they were doing, listened to me, and actually got something out of it. You telling me you can't figure that out? Not no twenty four year old. No. No. And, 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 and it's it's bad. And you know what? Those same twenty two to twenty five year olds are fucking teachers. Yeah. Let's talk about that shit. Oh, oh, oh! Have a story for this, don't we? Oh man. So let me tell you. So a couple. What was the last episode? I explained that you know Mason was not listening in school. Let's go yes. with that, right? Uh, you know, write ups and being sent. He was sent home, and. Yeah, uh, he he got an ass whooping, for lack of a better term, ass whooping. Sometimes it's needed. It happens. Yeah, right. Now I'm starting to think that was for nothing. So I told you I had a meeting. Yes. My uh, Mondays of Hell Part Three. Here we go. Had a meeting at his school, right, with the owner and the lady at the front desk. They they started it off. Mason was outside. Okay. First things out of their mouth. We see that Mason is very strong-minded. I was like, go on. That's not a problem. That's just the type of kid that he is. Yes. Again, not defending the wrong that you guys wrote down that he's been doing, but strong-minded people tend to do a lot in life. Yeah. So let's move forward. So he's strong-minded and strong-willed. Yeah. Got it. He's four. He's fucking uh, five. Yeah. He's five. Five. Sorry. Cool. (laughs) Because uh, that makes a difference. Yeah. Right. So I'm like, so I'm listening to them talk. You know, Mason's very strong minded. He when she once he gets on something, that's what he wants to do, and he doesn't want to switch. Um, the next question is, is he like this at home? I said, yeah, he is absolutely strong minded at home. My mind is stronger, so it doesn't like. Yeah. These results doesn't hap- don't happen at home. Mm-hmm. He does what he's supposed to do. Mason has chores. Remember again a couple episodes back. I gave him the chore of doing the garbage. He does it without me. He, when I tell him, he's like, Dad, you don't, you don't have to tell me. I, I know. That's what I was going to do. I was like, all right, God damn it. I, I'm going to tell you because I'm supposed to tell you. Yeah. Make sure you do it now every single time. Anyway, so he does what he's supposed to do. Chores, homework, put away his clothes, bathe himself, wipe his own ass, all that shit. He does what he needs to do at home. They got me thinking in school, he's just, like I said, King Dingling, running around, doing whatever he wants. So, on paper, it's written that, oh, Mason is throwing chairs. That, that, yeah, that's what's written on the paper. So, I was like, so what, are we like, gonna- like that meme of that lady in the wedding that's getting chairs and folding tables thrown at her? Yes. Okay. You see that shit? Crazy. Yeah. That's what I thought, right? Okay. So, I was like, so are we going to discuss him throwing chairs? Oh, no, 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 no. He's not picking them up and throwing them he's just shoving them over so that's not throwing so that's not throwing colonizer like (laughs) are you serious i was like so what do you so he's not so on paper you're putting that he's picking the chairs up and throwing it but in actuality he and it's still wrong don't get me wrong right 
<clears throat> but you're telling me that he's just pushing the chair over. All right, well, what about the hitting that you say? He said he's hitting kids and he's hitting teachers. Uh, he's punching like he's punching kids and punching teachers. Oh, no, 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 no. He's not hitting to hurt. He's like tapping. I was like, ma'am, your report says he's hitting people, like punching them in the face. Yeah. This is what your report said. The one that I just signed and put under your desk a little while ago. Now you've seen it telling me that he's not doing that. Aren't you supposed to be detailed in these reports? Mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> so you're telling me I have a strong-minded five-year-old that apparently you guys can't control, and you're also, for lack of a better term, lying on your reports. Yeah. What the? What are you talking? About? What are you doing? I said if you see that my son is it's, it's VPK, so it's from what nine or eight. 30 to about 12 30 is actual school everything after that is whatever playing time or what have you right if you see that he's more focused when you put him to do schoolwork give him more schoolwork if yes. you see a strong-minded kid <coughs> i'm sorry if you see a strong-minded kid who likes to learn because you told me that he's very smart because you guys had him tested to see if he was a learning disability or what have you and it wasn't. You told me that he scored above whatever it is that you're testing for. So give him more to do. Give him more schoolwork. Make him sit down in color. Make him practice en- his writing. Engage him. And engage him. Coach my son. Coach this strong mind yeah. into something more beneficial for him. But instead may- of putting him in time or instead of calling me after whatever time frame he's been there. Yeah, and the reason is because it makes their job difficult because they actually have to work. Exactly. Because they would much rather just have the kids come in, Mm -hmm. sit down, don't do anything, and call it an easy day. But when you get a kid who actually needs a little bit of redirection, because that's what... Look, I have a nine-year-old with autism at home. Mm -hmm. You you want to talk about a strong-minded kid when they get their mindset on something? Yeah. If I have to tell this kid... if If her mother and I... Have to tell her no about downloading Fortnite one more time. Oh we're throwing the goddamn God. Xbox away. What the like, fuck is Fortnite? Hey, it's a game. My son's playing it. And that's that's a new thing. So oh, my son's God. in town because he's in a different school district. He has spring break this week. Mm. She does not. Uh, Matter of fact, this whole county is not on spring break. Nope. Spring break's not for another couple of weeks, I don't mm-hmm. think, here. But he's on spring break. And she's just totally dead set against, well, how come he's on spring break and I'm not? Sweetie, he's in a different school system. You still have to go to school. You're going to get your spring break. Mm -hmm. And when you're on spring break, he's going to be in school. You you, you can't focus on that. And that's been the only thing she focuses on. He's playing. He brought his PlayStation with him, which is fantastic because now I get Assassin's Creed for a week. Yes. Yes. Um, So. (laughs) So. But he's playing Fortnite. He plays with his cousins. He, He you know, he moved from Miami to Fort Myers. The only way he connects with his cousins that he used to play with all the time in Miami is through his PlayStation. Yeah. Because they're on the headsets. They're all playing Fortnite together. They're all playing NBA 2K together. Okay, and, and, you know, it's too. cool. And I get it. And I love my son. Oh, man. I was so impressed because I know my son. He, look, he's about to be 13. Mm-hmm. I know the boy uses some profanity at some level. But on the PlayStation, he I, I guess somebody else came into the game. My son had no idea I was in the living room. He he had no idea I was in, like, the you know, the family room. He had no clue. And I heard my son say, hey, no profanity in the room, please. Oh, nice. And I was like, oh, sure. okay. Today, I took him playing basketball. And he said, I I, I swore, I, I I slipped and I said something. He's like, hey, no profanity on the courts. I look at my son and you're like, you corrected me a little mother. Mm, mm, like, yeah, okay. But yeah. you got to respect it. I, I, you know, you and I'm proud that my son is actually doing that. You gotta like, respect it, it. I, I was like, he had no idea I was there when he was saying that to this kids on the PlayStation. Exactly. And then I came up behind him. He's like, Bobby. And like, I scared him. <laughs> like, he had yeah. no idea I was there. <laughs> nice. So, I, you know, he's doing the right thing. So and that's why he gets the Fortnite, and that's what we're trying to tell her. Like, look, he, you know, he does things. He's his grades are good. My grades are good, great. But you're not supposed to get good grades for Fortnite. So we told her, like, you, you know, if you start showing that you're responsible for things, and you start showing that you, you know, you, you, you more, you, you're less focused on doing things to get something out of it. Exactly. You know what I mean? We'll, we'll, we'll get you Fortnite. We'll, we'll, we'll consider getting you Fortnite. So tonight I made dinner because she had to work from home and it's my day off. So I was like, I, I got dinner for the kids. Um, she's like, can I help you with dinner? And I was like, oh, you well, yes, you can, sweetheart. Absolutely. Thank you. She set up the table. She helped me peel the corn. And it was cool. And I made it very clear to her. I was like, now, if you're going to help me, you're helping me because you want to. You're not helping me because you want to download Fortnite or get anything else out of this. Right. And she said, yeah, cool. 
Well, towards the end of it, she found out she couldn't download Fortnite, and she's like, "I did all that for nothing." Or like, mm. yeah, you get to, now you're going to bed early. <laughs> now you're going to bed early. And you know, you you're talking about a kid with autism who that that's once she's on something, she's that's on it. something. You tell him, it, it, you going to tell me that this normal kid with a strong mind, your, your son, mm. who, who's you know doesn't have, for for anything we can tell, yeah. doesn't have anything that any challenges or right. anything. I won't say it's a problem because my my daughter didn't have a problem, right? But she, you know, this challenge is there. This is a normal kid who's strong willed and strong minded, and you you're being out you're being out thunk by a five year old. Pretty much, you are a person with a college degree mm-hmm. who is entrusted to teach these kids, mm-hmm. and you're telling me that you're not redirecting him when he's scholastically interested he's interested in scholastic stuff loves it you know what i mean like you you tell me he'd rather he'd much rather do school work than than go play sports yeah it's the easiest kid to deal with exactly. like well it's pe time redirect him it's like oh he doesn't want to do that we'll redirect him find out what he wants to do and figure out how to work it in the lesson. Exactly. like you don't care to your lesson plan on one kid absolutely not you have to redirect him and get him back on track on back on task right but you're the one who went to school for this exactly you're the certified teacher if my, this is part of your training yeah why is it so hard for you if my 12 year old daughter can ring him back in and have him finish whatever homework he's doing or whatever assignment or whatever task he's trying to get done you mean tell me that you paid all that money for that degree and you can't? Yeah. That's not that's not cool, right? So again, at the meeting, we're talking and talking and trying to then they tell us, you know, we want to see if we can see if you guys, us, they're talking to us, see if you guys as parents can get the school board involved and have them come out and talk to them. So now they want to put their fake reports in the school board system so that when he goes to regular school now, they have it to where, oh, he's throwing chairs and punching people in the face. He needs to go special ed. Yeah, no, that's no, not okay either. You can go fuck yourself now. Yeah. Now, I don't trust anything they say nor do at that school. Meeting is over. Um, you know, we talk. We we tell Mason to come in. He talks to him. And Mason, like I said, I teach him, listen, I, when I ask you a question, I don't want to hear because. I don't want to hear I don't know. Everything you do has a reason. Every question I ask has an answer. Think about it. If you got to think about it, that's cool. I'd rather you say nothing than tell me I don't know or because, because I hate those answers. Right. All right? So they're talking to him. He's answering full sentences. No, yes, I don't, you know, this, that, and the third. Um, end of the conference now, the, the colonizer at the front uh, comes up to him. All right, Mason, we're going to have a good day. Give me a high five. I kid you not. My son looked at this lady up and down and walked out. Yeah. <laughs> Walked all the way out. And I, I peeped that. And I was like, he doesn't do, like, even if he has to, like, he doesn't know a person. He's going to high five him or whatever. This lady, he don't like this lady. Again, not right. But kids can tell. Yeah. Right? So, I'm, you know, on the way home, I'm asking, hey, you know, what, who, what's going on? What's, why you didn't give her a high five? I don't like that lady. He, told, he said her name. I don't want to say her name. He said, I don't like that lady. I was like, well, why not? Dad, I know you don't want me to say because, or I don't know, but I really just don't like that lady. I have, I don't have a reason. <laughs> he's got a gut feeling. <laughs> he's, he's like, I don't have a reason. I know you don't want me to say that, but I, I don't know. I don't know. Cool. We got that done. We realized that they're trying to set us up. We're not going to call this fucking school board shit because they're immediately going to ask for those write-up papers. Next day, Mason has an appointment. So Mason didn't get to school till 8.30. 12 13, the teacher called, or the, the colonizer at the front calls me and says, You got to come pick up Mason. I was like, What the? What did he do? Oh, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You, you calling me to tell me to you, pick up my son. You can't tell me why. Please go find out. So, boom. She call, I, call, I call back now 10 minutes later. Oh, apparently a kid was poking him in the back and, and a girl was laughing. He hit the kids. We moved him, and that's when he started running around the, the lunchroom and running away from me. I was like, so he was, uh, again, yes, don't hit the kid. Don't. Use your words, whatever you got to do. This is, you're in school. They have an issue with all of that. But you mean to tell me he was provoked, and you called, did you call the other parents that was involved? No, you didn't. Okay. Don't worry. I'm going to have somebody come pick him up. So I get, we get Mason, they, his grandparents pick him up, take it to his mom's or what have you. She asks, what happened? He said... The kid was teasing. The kid was poking me. The girl was laughing at me. I hit them, and they took me out. I said, "So they didn't move you?" He's like, "No, they just took me out." I was like, oh, "Okay." So now again, 
Right. Now, my son is not stupid. He's not an idiot. He's going to talk whatever he sees. He hasn't. He has no reason to lie about that. Right. You know what I mean? Now, I just can't trust anything they do. You can't. He wasn't even there for an hour. And you mean to tell me you couldn't sit him down? You couldn't calm him down? You couldn't find, find out what happened just as simple as we did? Yeah. That makes absolutely no sense. And you're sending him home and these two weeks are already paid for. No, you need to handle that. Yeah. Handle that because then I want my money back for the day. He wasn't even there. At all. He didn't even get to go to the classroom. He was just in the lunchroom. And you can't trust the reports because they said he was hitting when he wasn't hitting. He was he, tapping people. So he, I'm, he was throwing chairs, but he wasn't throwing chairs. He was pushing them. Okay. Like, I, I get it's semantics, but at the same time, you, you're telling me that my kid is hitting people, and then when I confront you on it, you're telling me he's not hitting people. Fuck you. You're confusing me, and you're confusing him. She made me feel like shit for giving him the ass what he got, because now I feel like he didn't even deserve it, to yeah. be honest with you. He got it. He's a little shooken up now, so he's he's listening a little more. <laughs> he's a little twitchy. Yeah. It makes, huh? <laughs> what is it? What? What? what that? Huh? I'm here, I'm right here. Um. So you know, in the midst of that, before I even you know thought that because I didn't even realize he just got there. You right. know what I mean? So I'm texting my dad because he just came in town, and now this is how I found out he was in town. I was like, Dad, I need your help. I don't know what's going on. And um, you know, teacher called again, told him to pick him up. I was like, Oh, I was like, oh, bring him over. I was like, Bring bring him where? He's like, Oh yeah, I'm here. <laughs> My nigga, what do you, thanks, all right, he'll be there. So, you know, my dad talks to him, he's, he's fine, he says, hey, what do you want to do? He's like, I don't want to go back to that school, I want to go to my sister's school, which is he's going to next year. She, he, my dad was like, all right, well, you gotta, you, you have to, you know, behave here and do what you're supposed to do here before you're able to go to this place. Um, you know, he, 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 my dad asked him what he likes to do, you know, I like to write my letters, I like to learn the words, this, that, and the third do that. If you have to, if 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 you see that you you feel that you're about to give any kind of trouble or be rude or run, sit down, get your work, and do your work. That's it. Thursday he uh, went to orientation for his new school, and he was floored. He loved everything he saw. Yeah. He came home excited. Dad, look, they gave me words and they gave me this. And we're gonna do that, and I can't wait. And crayons and all this other stuff. Awesome. Because he likes that shit. And I'm never going to be like, I, I, as tired as I'm going to be, I'm never going to be like, oh, I don't want to hear about that. No, no, I have to. Like, I have you to, have to encourage that. I have to encourage that. I have to encourage that. Because if he sees me like, nah, 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 come on, don't, don't do that right now. Then he's going to have a negative uh, 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 outlook on school. And I don't want that. Right. So cool. He was, you know, he didn't, he went to school Wednesday. This is a long story. I am sorry. I know you want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> but man, Wednesday, my wife, um, cause she's still off, you know, she's on leave for the work because of her surgery. So she, she popped up and, and, and was like, yo, I'm going to sit in and see what happens. I don't want him to know I'm here. Don't tell the teacher that I'm here. I'm just going to observe. So she's there observing. And he, 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 you know, had some trouble waking up in the morning because he's there from six 30 when I drop him off. Class don't start till nine. Cool. Got past that. Mason had a regular day. He was, you know, he's participating in class, doing circle time, eating, whatever needs to be done. No trouble. None. My wife walks out to go check the car for something. Or go get some lunch or some shit like that. Right. They came when she came back. Oh, he knew that you were here. And when you left, he he began to act up. And she was like, really? How? How? If I'm watching him from the camera. How? What did he do? What? What? what how did he act up? Oh, he was kicking the wall or some shit like that. And she was like, are you Are you serious? She was like, I was like, she was like, you know what? They got security on. They got tape on it. I, I, she said she asked for the tape or what have you. And either way, if he was just kicking the wall, I understand that. All right, don't kick the wall, but that's what you're gonna report. Yeah, that's like, what you're sending him home for. That's what you, that. Well, it wasn't sending him home that day, but I'm saying like you that really you expect me to believe I walk out of here for ten minutes and he knew that I was here. He didn't yeah. know. Either you tell you you told him, or you're just bullshitting at this point. I was like, whatever, man. And so he didn't go back to school for the rest of the week because he had appointments and all that other stuff. He's about to have surgery himself. Yeah. Um, today, picked him up. Before I even got to the class, not the colonizer, but another teacher walked up to me and was like, oh my God, Mason had a phenomenal day. What did you guys do to him? I said, we showed him possibilities. We showed him that this is not it. We yeah. showed him that he is going somewhere better Soon, he just has to stick it out here. Careful how you phrase that, because it kind of sounds like you got him into a cult. 
<laughs> oh wow. We showed him that purple Kool-Aid. Purple Kool-Aid has magical properties. <laughs> You take it's it before the, you go to sleep and the comet Hellbop comes to take you away. It's the heart shaped herb. He, has, <laughs> he is now the Black Panther. Yes. No, uh, it was, no, I said we showed him what's next for him. We showed him what he's gonna be doing. We showed him we had explained to him if he could we asked him, you know, what are your go what do you want? What do you, he said what he wants to do, where he wants to go. He said, All right, we said, All right, cool. Do what you have to do here so that you can go where you want to go soon. And I left it at that. Yeah. I was like, because you guys, you guys only know how to deal with one kid. If this person is, you don't know how to do with this type of kid. If this person is a little bit over here, you guys fucking shut down and call a parent. Yeah. That's not what you do. And that fucking pisses me off. Again, yeah. school's already paid for. Why are you calling me to send them home? Use them degrees and figure out what's going on. Please. Yeah. I agree. God damn. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> you got you it, got into this, man. I was holding it in for like a week, man. Because I was me. You talked about it when it was yeah. in lunch room. I was fucking heated, heated. I, I had to go somewhere after work that day, and I couldn't even pay attention and 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 like process everything because I'm fucking pissed at this. Like I don't trust them. Yeah. Yeah, and it sucks when you can't trust the adults that are in charge of watching your kids. Yeah. Like you're supposed to be the only one I can't trust. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be the one that tells me what's up, and I can look at my kid and be like, "You're not telling me the truth." Mm. But now I think you're full of crap Exactly Yes I know my son He does some dumb shit The, the cursing thing you're talking about Yeah I was he, he was in the bathroom showering And he was like Hey dad So when am I old enough to say a bad word I was like What Why do you want to say a bad word Yeah He's like when I'm six I'm like no Never As long as you're in my presence I don't give a shit how old you are You don't say anything You don't say none of those words See, I had that conversation with my son today. Mm. Yeah, he, he like so. So he was saying he apparently his mom said that damn and shit don't count. And I looked uh, at him and said, uh, "Yeah, they do. Yeah, you don't say those words around me." I said, "Listen, you're at an age that I get it. You're 12. You're gonna be using words around your friends. I get that. That's fine. You're pretty good on the PlayStation. You're pretty good on the basketball court. And I get, I, I dig it. I dig your style, and I like what you're doing." But that doesn't mean you get to start cursing on free willy nilly. He's like, but can I say these words? I said, no. He's like, well, why can't, why are they bad words? And then I had to look at my son and I had to tell him the truth. I said, well, centuries ago, uh, people had words that they didn't like and they said that these are bad words. It's totally arbitrary. All right. Hector could be a bad word. Yeah. If somebody just didn't like the way the word Hector sounded, then that would be a bad word. But instead, you know, it was shit, piss, cocksucker, motherfucker, and tits. Mm -hmm. And I'm missing a couple of the seven. I know. Shit, piss, comfort, cocksucker, motherfucker, and tits. I, I, those happen to be the seven words that you can't say. All right. Mm -hmm. I don't know who came up with the list. I don't know why that list is there. It's arbitrary as all hell, but that's the word. Those are the lists. That's, mm -hmm. a, that's a list. Those are the words you can't say. So let's just go ahead and live in the social construct that we have. And the social contract says that you can't say these words words within dignified company so please don't say those words in front of me yeah. and as i'm saying that i hear lorraine in the background saying i fucking love you <laughs> <laughs> I love because it. i'm not lying to my son that's true why are these bad words look it's arbitrary these are bad words because somebody a long time ago said they were bad words yeah they have nothing to do with anything i no. didn't vote for it i really don't care I but we it. live in a society with rules so don't say it don't so say if it. you're gonna be around your friends i get it you do your thing. Live your life, kid. Mm. But let's just pretend that there's a little bit of respect for what's happening. And don't say them around me or your mom or in the house. Yeah, because you get punched in the mouth. That's Simple. it. Expand your vocabulary. And you know what? I, I was like, you know what? He's like, but what if I need to say that? I'm like, say poop. Say fecal matter. Say feces. Say excrement. Say uh, There's so many other words. Mm -hmm. Expand your vocabulary. Yeah, so he's stuck on fecal matter. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds way funnier than shit. That's his word for the day. It smells fecal like fecal matter, matter in here. Holy and I had to pop matter. him in the mouth because he said my house stunk. Ah, <laughs> smells yeah. like fecal matter in here. Pop. I ain't pop him in the mouth. I'm kidding. No, I ain't do anything. I said, hey, that's the right context. Now apologize because we work hard to clean this house. Goddamn right. Yeah. Shit, he's, he's 12. I don't need to spank him. Right. And again, like I said, I don't I don't like spanking my son. Um, yeah, if he needs it, he's gonna get an ass whooping like he did. Um, I guess it worked. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? But adults, stop shirking. Your responsibilities. I love that word, guy. Yeah, shirking. Stop shirking your goddamn responsibilities and do what you got to do. You okay. have a duty to these children that are in your lives. Yeah. Do right by that. Please. Don't. Especially if you if you see them, if you see them, you know, if you see that you can, uh, you know, uh, uh, encourage them even further yeah. on whatever they're trying to do, do that. 
Take advantage of the opportunity you have to be an influence. Absolutely. Or don't work there. Get Go the work at out. McDonald's. Go find a blockbuster in Atlanta. Or Alaska, rather. Because I think that's where they actually have a few blockbusters. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, because they don't have internet in a lot of the places of that state. <laughs> They're not God wired damn. for it. So it just... You, you dead don't, ass? You either, either do the job or don't. No, for real. Absolutely, man. Um, especially when it comes to kids. They... It's corny and cliche. They are the future. What you do now is going to shape them for the rest of their life. Mm-hmm. So if I don't intervene, into, if I went along with what you've been saying, and I, my child would have been put into the system, and that was it, he'd have been fucked for the rest of his school school life, and he would never like it. Yeah. This 24-year-old assistant coach, I promise you in another 24 years, he's going to be 48 years old yelling and screaming about how this generation don't have any respect. Well, mm-hmm. yeah. what did you do when you had the opportunity to teach them respect? You didn't do shit because yeah. you're over here sitting in the hallway with all these kids that you're entrusted with. Oh, you're I don't fine. care that you're 24. If you're not ready to do the job, then don't do the job. Don't put in for it. Don't I, apply for it. Exactly. Mom. If you have the job, do the job. Exactly. I couldn't be a teacher or any kind of thing with anybody's kids because they wouldn't, especially out here. Hell they wouldn't no. get it. They wouldn't get it. They wouldn't get it. I, I'm, I treat, like I said, I don't, when they talk to Mace, well, did you use your words? No, stop. He's not. Talk to him like a person. Yo, listen, Mace, Mason, this is not what you're supposed to do. Stop doing this. Do what I'm telling you to do or there are going to be consequences. He understands consequences. You tell him to use his words and he's not making smart decisions or smart choices. That doesn't work with him. Talk to him like a person. Yeah. That's it. Nobody says that shit out in the real world. Nobody. My boss is not going to, hey, man, you didn't make right decisions. He's like, no, hey, listen, you're fucked up. No, I'm not saying to curse at the kid, but talk to him like a human being. Yeah. Please. God, that's the message we got today, folks. Stop shirking. Shirking off shit. It's not cool. Be happy with the opportunity you have to influence our kids and do it. God damn right. Sorry we went a little bit long on this one, folks. Yeah, guys, this demon did all. all of our hearts. Should be. Your parents. We care about the kids and we care about the adults that are in their lives. Yeah. You know, if I want you to do a good job, I wouldn't be complaining about it. I want you to do a good job. It's when you're not doing a good job that I'm mad at. It's a problem. Yep. But let us know what you think, folks. Drop mm-hmm. us a line on Facebook. Look us up at Pops On. Uh, hit us up on Instagram at No Dad Jokes. Hit, them us, hit us up on Twitter at No Dad Jokes with a Z. Mm-hmm. Um, let us know what you think. Let us know if you have any adults that, you know, are in your lives, in your kids' lives uh, that aren't doing Or, you know what? Here's an idea. Shout out one that's doing a great job. Yes. I got to say it. My son's football coach, Coach Carmike, great guy. Awesome. Love him. He's taught my son a lot. My awesome. son focuses. My son pays attention. He wants to do well because Coach Carmike is inspiring him to do that. That's what I'm expecting in a coach. That's what I'm expecting in any adult that's involved in my son's life. Not everybody's going to do great. Sometimes you're going to have teachers that aren't awesome. Sometimes you're going to have head coaches that are coaches that are new and have no idea what they're doing. That's fine. That's where the head coach is supposed to teach the assistant coach and not fuck them. <laughs> yes, more of the story. God damn right. And yeah, give us a call. Let us know in a voicemail or text us. 321-405-2219. We want to know. Guys, we do appreciate you listening to this long-winded episode. Yes. But thank you so much for all the listens and supports and downloads and texts and comments. We appreciate that, man. But until next time, I'm Raul. I'm Jay Alvarez. Don't forget, spokekids.movies. And please, no bad jokes. Peace. Thank you for listening to Pops On. Email us any questions and your best dad jokes at nodadjokes at gmail.com. For more content, please like us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash no dad jokes. Follow us on Instagram at no dad jokes and Twitter at no dad jokes with a Z. Yeah, we tried to get no dad jokes within us, but apparently some thing that got out of hand wanted to take it and then not post anything for two years on Twitter because, hey, look at me. I'll get this now and maybe at some point I'll actually figure out how to use Twitter because it's not like I don't have anything else to do with my damn life. I'm just going to these guys instead. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, but, <laughs> Hey, family show, man. Whoa. Family. I bet you his mother's a fucking ho-